I know that there is an emerald for you today. I hope that you'll be listening to Holy Spirit as he shows you which emerald is the one he wants to highlight to you. So these are five of my favorite emeralds through the Word of God based on today's date, May 4th. I want to pay special tribute to all of you that are celebrating birthdays today through Mother's Day. I hope that you have a very special birthday. Let's begin. Timothy 5 4. If any widow has children or grandchildren, then go to the descendants first and teach them that it is their spiritual responsibility to care for their own family, to repay their parents and grandparents because this is what pleases God. I love this emerald because we're right here on Mother's Day weekend and this the word and this emerald declares that we are to take care of our parents and our grandparents. This is what pleases God. Matthew 5, 4 Blessed, forgiven, refreshed by God's grace are those who mourn over their sins and repent, for they will be comforted when the burden of sin is lifted. I love this emerald because it says that we will be comforted when we mourn. And I love the amplified version of this emerald because it even goes further. In other translations, it just simply says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. That is a true statement, but this version goes a little bit deeper into the truth that when we mourn over our sins and we repent, God will bless us with comfort and refreshment from taking those burdens and those sins away. And I love how it highlighted that truth. 2 Corinthians 5 4. Sometimes we can hardly wait to move, and so we cry out in frustration. Compared to what's coming, living conditions around here seem like a stopover in an unfurnished shack and we're tired of it. We've been given a glimpse of the real thing, our true home, our resurrection bodies. From the Message Bible, and it gives it a very modern way of looking at the word. The pastor that came and would minister to my mom when she was in hospice highlighted this verse quite often and even shared it at her celebration of life service. And I love that, that this truth is, this emerald talks about the fact that yes, we get discouraged, we get frustrated with these bodies of ours and what we have to deal with here, but there's a great hope. We have our blessed forever homes ahead of us, and there's a great hope and a great joy that these Vessels that we're in are tents, and tents were never made to be long-standing homes. They were just a temporary dwelling. And praise be to God, our long-term home is waiting for us in heaven, and this is just a temporary home, a temporary vessel. And so I just hope that you'll take encouragement in this emerald. I don't know what you may be dealing with today, but just remember, it's only temporary. 1 Thessalonians 5.4 My brothers and sisters, it will be different for you. You do not dwell in the darkness, so that day will not surprise you like a thief. That's the hope, is that when we are looking for our Savior to come, that it's going to be different for us. We're going to be in the light and we're not going to be in the darkness. We are going to be living a life that is full of love for God and loving others. 
and we will be delighted when that day comes. It will be different for us who are right in right standing with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 1 John 5, 4 For everyone born of God is victorious and overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has conquered and overcome the world, our continuing persistent faith in Jesus, the Son of God. That is a beautiful emerald. That we are victorious. We have conquered this world. No matter what we are facing, the thing that gives us the victory is our faith. It is my faith in Jesus Christ that I know for certain is the reason why I'm standing today here and talking with you today. I know it's my faith. And it's your faith that has enabled you to overcome. This is a beautiful emerald that reminds us it is our faith. And we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. I pray these emeralds have been a blessing to you. I pray that you will receive the emerald that Holy Spirit highlighted to you today. And I just pray that we will really allow these emeralds to transform our life. They are beautiful treasures. May I pray with you? Father God, I thank you for these emeralds. I pray that it Lord God, that we will cooperate with you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to allow these emeralds to transform our lives, Lord Jesus. Father, we know that that means freedom. We know that's victory and conquering the things of this world. Father, I thank you that you desire us to be completely aligned with you where true life, true joy, true love is found. Father, I pray blessings on those that are celebrating birthdays today and through Mother's Day. Father God, I just pray special blessings upon them, Father God. May they have the best year they've ever had. Lord, we give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. And may we remember, loving God and loving others gives us the wings to fly. We will see you Friday for God Breezes. Have a wonderful week.